Hey, everybody. So a few days ago, the fine people at Hynade sent me this 55 amp plasma cutter for me to check out. So we're going to run it through some tests. We're going to talk about the features and see if this is right for you and your needs. Stick around. Okay, so right out of the box, it comes with the uh, plasma cutter. It's got a ground clamp. It's pretty decent. Uh, it does have an AG60 style pilot arc torch. It runs on 110 or 220, and it comes with the 110 and 220 adapter. It also comes with a little air hose, but it does have an air chuck already on the back. And of course, it comes with a little uh, starter bag of your consumables. So let's talk about the front now. Okay, so as you can see, this is the HYC 550P. So it's a 55 amp. P is for pilot arc. And this red wire is your pilot arc connection. This is the two prong connection to your trigger. This is the uh, ground clamp. And this is your gun. And this is the built-in air pressure regulator. And on the screen here, we can see what our PSI is set for. It has a button called AC, and that's for air check. You can hit it. And you can see what your air drops down to once you pull the trigger. It also it is a 2T or 4T torch. That's really nice. Um, the, uh, it is a 220 or 110 machine, but to get the full 55 amps, you will need to plug it into 220 and it'll show you right here what you're plugged into this right here. This button says unit. That's where you can adjust your post time airflow. And your, uh, well, it says pilot arc, but it's supposed to be uh, uh, pre flow. And this one that says metal is on plate, or it also has a setting for mesh uh, or expanded metal, what we're used to. So I'm going to set. All right, I'm on 55 psi. I'm going to crank this down to about 50. I'm going to leave it on 2T and my post airflow, I'm going to keep it on five seconds to cool the gun down. And um, on my pre flow, I'm going to leave it at five seconds and I'm going to leave it on plate. Okay, so for our first test, we're going to check out this. Uh, piece of eighth inch diamond plate, just a uh, regular old steel. And uh, I am, I imagine it's not going to have a problem with this at all, but let's play. Yeah, I didn't have, I didn't, I didn't expect it to have a problem with that. That's pretty clean cut. Let's try something thicker. Okay, now I have a piece of quarter inch, just plate steel. I'm just going to knock the corner off of this. Wow. That's like butter. Let me grab my hammer a second. Okay, so to clean this up, really all you got to do is just take a small hammer and just tap it on the edge. Look at that. What a great cut. 
Let's try something even thicker. Okay, so now I've got a piece of 3 8 inch plate, and I'm going to turn this up to 55, and uh, let's see if we can cut through this. Wow, another fantastic cut. This one. We'll just knock some of this dross off. There we go. Man, what a great cut. Okay, so I've got this little piece of half inch that we did on the um, flux core test the other day. Let's see how it handles half inch. I'm sure it's not going to have a problem. Again, I've got, uh, I'm on 55 and about, I'm going to turn up my air just a little bit. Um... So you can hit your uh, air check while you're turning it. So I've got my air turned up to 70 and I'm on 55 amps. Let's see if we can cut the corner off this half inch. Go through the slow for this half inch. Holy cow, what a great cut! Let me get the dross knocked off of this. There you go. You know, a lot of machines, a lot of plasma cutters now, they're stopping at 50, or what you see online as the cut 50. Uh, they may do 3 8, but they're, you need that extra 5 amps for a 55 amp machine to cut half inch this nice. Okay, well, that's my test of the HYC550P from Hynade. Uh, you can get these online on Amazon for about 200 bucks. Uh, it's well worth it. Uh, I am genuinely impressed. 55 amps if you're plugged into 220. And I think I read if you're plugged into 110, I believe it's only 35 amps. But even 35 amps is plenty enough to do eighth inch, sheet metal, uh, body parts. <laughs> Car, car body parts, that is. Um, but 55 amps, and it did a, man, it did a good job on that half inch. I can't believe that. That's fantastic. But, um, you know, they sent this to me to check out. And if you know my channel, you know that I'm all about showing you how to be a baller on a budget with inexpensive equipment and getting the best results out of it. Uh, and at 200 bucks, I wouldn't look back at buying one of these for sure. Um, and look, if you got something out of this video, please give me a thumbs up. It really goes a long way to the analytics of my channel for YouTube. Helps them push my videos out a little bit more. And, um, and if you don't mind, help a brother out and give a little subscription uh, button a, a pat. I would really appreciate that. But uh, anyway, this is the Hynade 550P, 
55 amp uh, Pilot Arc plasma cutter. And uh, y'all have a great week.